Yes, several grocery store workers got on that virtual meeting call, many of them from right here at the Safeway in Roxbury. They were urging King County Council to pass the ordinance for the $4 an hour hazard pay. I think the question you have to ask yourself is why don't we deserve hazard pay? Is our lives worth less? than the others already receiving it in Seattle. The King County Council voted eight to one to pass the ordinance. It'll impact up to 10 large grocery stores in unincorporated King County. Council member Reagan Dunn was the only one to vote no, saying he worries it could set a precedence for other essential employees to ask for equal treatment and concerns over potential store closures. One shopper tells us she'd pay extra for groceries if it meant supporting frontline grocery workers. 100%. Like, what we have to go to the grocery store every day, all day, people are at the grocery store. What would we do if the grocery store shut down? <laughs> we need these guys to work. The Northwest Grocery Association and Washington Food Industry Association that represents the grocery industry says in a statement, quote, passing an unfair, illegal and burdensome pay increase that jeopardizes neighborhood grocery stores will do nothing to make grocery workers safer. We encourage King County to focus on prioritizing vaccine distribution to the grocery workers in their communities. We've reached out to Safeway Albertsons as well as QFC Kroger about the additional hazard pay that is now going to be in effect starting in two weeks. So far, we have heard from them that they've shown support to their own employees, even without the addition of hazard pay. In King County, Jennifer Lee, Q13 News.